Well, hello there. Welcome back to this channel where I talk about things. I promised that I would talk about uh, Windows 10 on the Spectre X360 and that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. Is... Is that. So let's do it. So for the most part it works just like it did with Windows 8, but uh, a couple of different major things. The coolest is that when you uh, flip it back now, go from uh, laptop mode to tablet mode, is you get the little thing in the corner here, which basically asks you if you want to switch to uh, tablet mode. And you hit yes, and then it becomes uh, all tablet-y. If you want it to be exactly the same as desktop mode, but now tablet-y, you can do that. But I found that the actual tablet mode in this is, um, is really good. Especially if you go to type, because now you can tap up here and the keyboard automatically comes up. With Windows 8, you had to tap the little keyboard icon down here on the taskbar every time you wanted to type, and that was annoying. But with Windows 10, they've fixed that, and now you can actually just uh, tap into place and then type. It's friggin' awesome. It does exactly what every other tablet does now. Fantastic. Well done, Microsoft. You've, you've caught up. I still find it easier to use it in this sort of slate mode. Just because then you don't have to hold it and, and get a sore arm about it. Of course, with Windows 10, they brought back the start menu which you can click around with the mouse if you want to, or you can touch around with it. And uh, either way, it's, it's easy and it's really fun to use. The File Explorer is here if you want to quickly uh, look for stuff. I do like that the search is right here too on the taskbar. Click it, type whatever you're looking for, like, like that, and, uh, and away you go. Very handy. Settings. All right there too, um, such as Cortana, which you can't do anything with in this country yet. So that's great. Apparently we don't speak English here. They also have this feedback section, um, so you can leave them feedback about issues, I guess, which is cool. So I haven't had any real issues with Windows 10 yet. I did have some weird issues though, like just yesterday I couldn't scroll up and down on web pages uh, using the two finger method. Um, I don't know why, I reset the laptop and it worked again, so there's that. The stylus still works well, but I did have an issue where the uh, touch sensitive stuff stopped working and it was just giving me a thick line and I had to actually restart. Manga Studio to get it to work properly again, which was weird. They updated the BIOS again recently, and when they updated it, that light for the keyboard came back on, and I had to go back into the BIOS and turn it off again. Um, so that was weird too. Overall, the Spectre X360 works really well with Windows 10. I haven't had a whole lot of issues. Uh, Windows 10 is so much better than 8. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. It's a lot faster. It's easier to use. I like having not to press the friggin' keyboard key anymore. That's very nice. So yeah, I don't really see why you wouldn't update to 10 from 8 if you have a 360. Um, that's really good. And, once again, case closed on the X360 forever now. This is the last video I'm going to make about this. I know you, you can't get enough of them, but uh, I'm done talking about it. Mwah. Still love it. Bye.